Okay, we're to the point where it suggests that we should get all this stuff secured and finalized. So first thing it says is the, for the steering rack. So we've got two bolts there and two bolts there. So gonna go ahead and put some uh, thread locker on that and uh, tighten them up. Uh, the manual doesn't really specify anything about torque, so I'm gonna get good and tight and uh, maybe measure the torque and try and be consistent. So um, the next thing is I'll probably, um, so left to right, I don't exactly know where center is, so I'll probably push it all the way left, all the way right, um, kind of see if I can't mark the middle position, um, and then start adjusting the tie rod ends um, so they're even on both sides. And then I can put the wheel bearings on and adjust everything there. So see how that goes. All right, so I had no idea what the torque specs were. For these ones, they've got a pretty solid mount. Um, I kind of feel like this is the main mount, where this one's kind of like, this rubber gasket's almost more to keep it, so it doesn't move in this direction. Anyway, when I tighten this one, this, this kind of keeps giving and giving and giving, so I didn't tighten this one quite as tight. This one I did about 50 inch pounds, or foot pounds. Um, so we'll go from there. Like I said, we'll, we'll move this, uh, right here we'll move this back and forth to see kind of where the center is and get it all centered. Mark the center and then uh, get these rod ends placed. Okay, so with some help, we got this guy in. Kind of had to pry open that slot while somebody pounded the top in. Got a, some, some uh, grease on it. Um, but now we're ready to put it on the lower and upper control arms and on the tie rod there. So we'll go from there.
Okay, so the, I think the camera lost its battery, but uh, we'll, we'll make sure to get uh, all of it on the other side. So this is the driver side. So I got this one um, all adjusted kind of by eye. Just make, make this, you know, make sure it's all level here as best I can and make sure that uh, essentially that's in the center. So I think I've got that. So I got the two, got this jam nut here and here. So everything should be tight. And um, so, you know, that controls the, the steering, you know, left, right. Um, got this one in here. All these ones tightened up here. All these ones tightened down here. Um, down here, this castle nut, it doesn't really tighten, so it only kind of goes so far. And there is just a little bit of gap, so I'm wondering if I need to... Anyway, I'm wondering if I need to get something there. Make it all tight. Um, got this one screwed in tight there and there, so that's kind of the driver side. There's one more that we need to do, which is right here, and I'll kind of show you on this other side what's going on. There's so for this piece here, it's got this uh, this center. I don't know what you call it. It's a keyway to kind of keep things from rotating, which is great. But when you go to put the uh, screw in, you can see it's just occluding that one side, so the screw doesn't want to go in. So I'll need to get a drill bit or something to clean that out. So that's the last thing I need to do on the other side. And then this side, I've got it. I redo all of it. So. So I got this uh, fully tightened. Um, this is it's like a lock nut, but not like a plastic like nylon lock nut. It's got the top threads of the nut are um, kind of folded in a little bit, so it's kind of a metal lock nut. And the problem I was having is um, when I torque it around, the bolt underneath here is 
kind of free to spin in, in this ball ball joint here. And so I torque it and it would just spin this down here until I got enough pressure up here to kind of start being able to pull it up. So I just had to use an impact driver to kind of get past that and then it would tighten. That does it for this episode. Um, next time we'll get into maybe the brakes or um, some of the first paneling that we put on uh, for the inside. So hope you like it and stay tuned.